What's going on guys, Play Play Gaming here back with another Epic 7 video and today we're taking on Pain Pursuer Moroi. So this is the new Light Expedition boss that just got released. Uh, we're actually taking on Expedition level 3 in this one. So I think if you're able to use the same team comp, it should be fine for level 1 and 2. Uh, you know, this one is kind of tough if you don't have, I think, the right units built uh, but I think for the most part, a lot of people have like Sermia built, right? Sermia and Cerise. I know Cerise is kind of a limited, so it's hard to replace her. Uh, but everyone else, you know, you could have them lying around. But this is just another team comp that you might be able to bring. Uh, let's talk about the boss here real quick. So the boss inflicts bleeds uh, on his surprise attack and does splash damage proportional to uh, the unit in the front. Uh, based on their target's health. So based on that health, so if you bring in a knight, which you really want to bring in a knight, uh, because uh, when there's no knight, damage is greatly increased, just like all the other expeditions. So you want to bring in a knight. Uh, you know, if you do end up bringing someone that is uh, has very, very high HP, just keep in mind that the splash damage is going to be even bigger. So in this one, I think you can actually go lower HP, higher defense just so that you can minimize on the amount of splash damage that there is on your three other uh, DPS units or your three other units that you bring in the team. Dimensional energy uh, from the boss, that's an AOE restrict, speed down, and that's when the boss gets a barrier like you see there. Uh, when that barrier is there, you're gonna want to apply defense break. So defense break is going to be your friend here. So you're gonna wanna bring in as many units that can apply defense break as possible uh, because you want to nuke out the shield as fast as possible. If you don't nuke it out before the boss goes again, it's it's pretty much GG. So he's gonna deal insane amounts of damage. You might be able to recover from it if everyone else is tanky, uh, but you know if you bring in DPS units, uh, you should be okay. That's why Sermia here works really really well because she's self attack buffing and then she deals insane amounts of damage we do have her built on a rage set just keep in mind i don't think you necessarily need a rage set for this even though uh, our team comp does give us a lot of debuffs that we're landing uh, but i think you can definitely build her on speed get her to cycle as long as you're landing defense breaks you can get her to cycle and uh, get her to deal damage and just continue to uh, nuke down the boss. But as you can see, everybody is uh, getting some healing in. So that's one of the main reasons you don't see a Soul Weaver here. You don't have to bring in a Soul Weaver because uh, at the start of the battle, the boss puts up uh, that uh, Vampirism, I guess, debuff or buff. It, it kind of helps us out. So every time that your units attack, they get some healing in. Uh, so if your Sermia isn't, Super tanky, that's okay because she's gonna deal insane amounts of damage and then heal up for a lot. Uh, there's also two other debuffs that get landed at the start of the battle. That's Seal, uh, which doesn't allow you to use passive, so just keep that in mind if you're bringing units. They can't use their passive. Uh, and then Isolation, which only allows uh, that specific unit uh, to give themselves buffs. So as you can see, my Fire CC here on her S3, she gives a team-wide immunity, uh, but she only gives it to herself. And then that's fine because everyone else is a self buffer. So Mercenary Helga here, when she goes with the S3, she gives herself attack buff, effectiveness buff. And then when she's above, I think it's 60%, she gives herself also crit, uh, that crit chance buff. So she's given herself a lot of buffs and she deals insane amounts of damage, as you can see there with defense break. Uh, everyone here is uh, is meant to land a defense break pretty much, except for the Sermia. I guess ideally we would bring in another unit, maybe like a Euphine. Um, I think I saw someone use a Cirilla, if you have a Cirilla, because I think she also defense breaks on her S1 or her S2, one of those. Uh, but you ideally want as many defense breaks as possible, uh, just so that you can nuke down the boss in that barrier. Uh, and uh, and deal as much damage as possible because again, you're not bringing in a soul weaver uh, So you want to be able to heal up for uh, some type of uh, At least some healing right uh, we got cerise here. She I mean cerise is cerise, right? She provides so much utility 
Uh, she gives herself the invincibility with the S3 and then S2 combo, uh, unable to be buffed, uh, landing defense breaks, dual attacks, you know, she's kind of insane. Uh, you know, the landing of the defense breaks is with a limited artifact miscon file. So I know that's going to be a little difficult to get, but I don't think that you necessarily need it. Uh, if you can bring in other units that also defense break, uh, we do have fire CC here that uh, can defense break on the S1. So just kind of keep that in mind. We do have, even if we didn't have miscon file, you know, I think we would be okay. Um, ideally, we would speed up Mercenary Helga. She's only like 160 speed. Uh, our Sermia is also 160 speed. Uh, the only two, I guess, speed units on the team are Cerise, which is, you know, your 280-ish Cerise, and then uh, our Fire CC. I think she's like 220-ish. Uh, but again, less health, more effectiveness. That's going to be the main thing here. If you're looking for... Uh, those defense breaks make sure you're bringing 85 percent effectiveness on everyone uh, just so you can land debuffs and get those defense breaks in uh, the dual attacks here are helping a lot but uh, just kind of keep in mind if you do bring in dark units uh, the boss gets an 80 percent increased damage uh, to dark units so again ideally you want someone that can take a lot of damage in the front line someone that can buff themselves as you can see everyone can buff themselves here and then deal decent amount of damage our mercenary helga is on free gear the free damage uh, crit damage set again sermia doesn't have to be on rage set if you have a rage set you know it's definitely going to help but i think you can build her on speed uh just to cycle more get more attacks in uh, other units that you could potentially bring again instead of mercenary Helga I've been seeing a lot of Carmen Rose I know that she provides a lot of utility to the team as well uh, also a self buffer I tried adventure Raz for the night in the front line but it just wasn't working he just kept going down I, I have no clue what you know it just didn't work for me but it might work for you you might be able to bring adventure Raz I also tried bringing uh, Crow. Crow is actually pretty decent uh, he would heal himself up uh, after he went with the S3, so it wasn't too bad. But uh, that's going to be it for me. Let me know how you're doing in this new Expedition boss. Uh, we've been averaging about, I think, four to 700k. It's, it's yeah, it, it can be kind of weird because of the defense breaks, 15%. Uh, I mean, it's it's not too bad. You know, ideally, we, we would hit 700k damage uh, every single time. But hey, it's a team event right it's a team thing so you're not meant to one shot it every single time i mean if you can that's great but you know this is what we're working with for now without having to uh, strip all of our other units uh you know maybe we'll make a dagger sakar video in the future taking out that achievement maybe with some more units or maybe even the same units i don't know we'll see but that's gonna be it for me we got stats all that good stuff at the end uh, if you have any additional team comp ideas for this expedition boss, let me know in the comment section below. Like always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.